Greetings, Monster Hunter friends and peoples. Welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations here on the K-Wings Let's Plays channel. Bad Tinky. Tink bump the mic. So today, because you've all been so very patient, we are going to take on the great Maku. <gasps> Maki. No way. I don't think we're ready yet. Let's turn back now. We are ready. We're ready. We're willing and we're <laughs> able. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Are you pumped? Let's go! I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. It's time for us to take on, the, not the, the king of the beasts. I mean, this is just basically a great Joggy ripoff. Hi, hunter person! How's it going? You might want to stop by the Palico Ranch sometime. No. Here's all the questing stuff that you have. And Yay! Stuff. So you can see we've completed most of the uh, furnace. Oh, a lot of check marks. See ya! Oh, wait, we have to talk to him, that's right. Ah, Hunter, your timing could not be any better. The chief researcher has just informed me of a bit of a dilemma out in the Jurassic Frontier. A bird worthen called the Great Mak Mako is impending Wakademy. Uh, what do you call it Macau? Macau. It's vital that his research continues unobstructed. I posted the quest. Just be careful. The Great Macau are known to lead packs of smaller Macau. Yeah, it's like a great joggy. Yeah. So then you'll have to fight Little Joggy and all that other stuff. I thought there was like a bird called Macaw or something. Uh, oh, okay. But this is. It looks a like bird. a chicken walker, though. Oh, okay. It looks, it looks like a, a chicken raptor, hmm. more or less. Hi, Hunter. Let me go over how this works. After completing specific quests, you do stuff. Once you complete it, then you'll be able to take on higher tier of quests. Yay! Think about proving yourself as a hunter, but before you get aspirations of greatness, be yes. careful! I shall be the careful. There are things that look cute and feathery from a distance, but up close they are giant murderous birds. Oh They'll no. rip your face off. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <gasps> They'll rip your face off. <laughs> rip your face off, man. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Whoa! Uh, whatever. I do feel like I'm in an episode. We of have an urgent quest. River monsters right now. Birds that have the capacity to rip of someone's face off in a single blow. <laughs> the vaulting heard, outlaw. Yeah, I've heard uh, tales of it. I've heard tales of its valor and things. Yes. So yeah, this is basically like a great joggy, but it, it looks like a chicken. You'll see. Make us proud out there. Okay, that was annoying. All right, so we need to make sure that we have, um, just in case, we're going to bring some potions that I've constructed while doing some online stuff. Mm hmm Because they're kind of separate. Um, you know, the Hunter Hub leads to the online, which we'll show the Hunter Hub uh, later. But, um, do you ever run out of room in your box at home? Mm, Is there endless room in there, or do you have to buy like another? Do you have to like rent a a trailer or rent like one of those <laughs> rent a space places? Well, usually you get like ninety nine items that you can store for each thing. So oh wow! But I do tend to get a lot of items. Like I told you, I love. Well, I mean, to get every aspect. Plus, we're trying to show off as many aspects as we can to people watching. So. Correct. That's part of it. Always good to have a well-made steak if you have it, so you get tons of stuff. That way you can save your rations for later. Yeah. And we're going to use the paintball to kind of mark the enemy. Like, if we were just playing for ourselves, we'd probably just do one armor and stick with it. But we're going to try to show off different things, I think. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, we are going to show off different things. Oh, I can't wait to fight this guy. Well, I mean, I, I've, I've fought him online. When you fight monsters online, the difficulties increase significantly. So mm. it shouldn't be too bad. We also have Sammy with us right now, and my weapon is a level two. You need another cat. So we're we're basically progressing uh, the tutorial aspect of this, or the first Star Quest, pretty well actually, because um, they tell you to upgrade your weapon as the story progresses and things like that. We've already upgraded our weapon. We've already started to feed our kinsect. We have a cat that's like a level five. And, you know, this is also a great place to get waystones and some other things. It's located right by this rock in the first area of the map. Hmm, interesting. Of the Jurassic area. Oh, okay. All right. Of the Jurassic area. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I kind of think of this as the beginning of the map because you go through a couple tiny areas and then you get to this open space and it's like, I'm, I'm in monster hunting land. Oh, never mind. You just go through one tiny area first. 
Sometimes the Great Macau likes to hang out in this area because there's like little chicken raptor guys. Yeah. Does he feed on them or? No, those are like his friends. Oh. Ooh. Think of him like a gang leader. Those <laughs> no those are funny. like his little posse. Okay. All right. Never mind. Come on. Where are still, you, giant chicken now? raptor? <laughs> Never mind. Uh. Uh, hey, I heard like alligators will like eat their young or something. Or... Well, that's alligators. I mean, maybe raptors do too. But this this guy, he's he's kind of cool to his like little crew. It's not like, that's all right, good. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat your face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just decided I'm gonna eat your face. Eat, eat, it, eat it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. It's happening. It's happening. Gonna gonna chew your face off. Yeah. Now I'm like thinking of all kinds of nature documentaries I watched that had horrible consequences. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't want to talk about them. It might make this uh, not T rated anymore. Oh uh, yeah, totally. All right. <laughs> so he's not here. This is uh, this is uh, annoying. Where is this guy? Ah. Uh, Frustration you got is your real. paintball, though. That's what I was trying to do last Monster, Monster Hunter game was use the paintball, and it was like... <sighs> you tag them, don't you, with the paintball, and then you can tell where they are on the map. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Da, da, da. Well, it's peaceful this time of evening <laughs> in the cool of the day. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Oh, come on. Where are you hiding, dude? You know what I wish? I wish because they made a... Uh, Warcraft movie. I really would love to see a Monster Hunter movie. That would be amazing. Yeah. In theaters, but... Eh. They've had Monster Hunter animes. Oh, okay. Kind of. And we'll have to check some of those out. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I saw an anime where a lot of people played Monster Hunter in it, but yeah. At the same time, yeah, it'd be cool to see a Monster Hunter anime. Oh, uh, before I forget, too, um, those giant, like, brontosaurus wannabes or whatever... Uh, there's a quest that is in the second star range that might confuse some people. It says you need to find something called an ancient berry. What you want to do as soon as that, you know, long neck dinosaur starts eating trees or whatever, you want to hit it and then it drops something called an ancient berry. Uh, oh. There are a lot of people that, you know, could end up just losing a quest after they've spent all this time gathering items. And stuff like that. So they don't give you a super detail of how to do it. They just tell you that, you know, you're supposed to go after those things when they're feeding. So, so. while it is getting berries off a tree, you hit it. Well, you don't know if it's getting berries off a tree. It's eating something, and then when you smack into it, you get an ancient oh, berry. Oh, wow. That's so cool. I would have never known how to do that. I came across it, that quest on my other save file, like, a few days ago. Mm -hmm. I'm already up to, like... Uh, Almost the end of the second Star Quest, I believe, right wow. now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Monster Hunter is not a game that you just kind of like. Play no, you don't. Totally you never. Blind. You do not play Monster Hunter blind. If I don't. You just no. run in and fight the biggest dinosaur with no armor or anything. It's like no. That's, that's, that there are some happen. people that don't like using armor, though. Yeah, I have. I have heard of people saying that it weighs them down or they can't move as fast, but. I can't, I can't fight. No, you have to have armor. armor. You have to have armor. Yeah, some people just try to keep upgrading their weapon, so it's like... Yeah. There we go. There he is. The man of the hour. The Great Macau. Oh, you made me search for him. I hate that. All right, so first thing we got to do is tag him. He was playing hard to get. Yeah, whatever. Tag, you're it. It's a little game he plays. Wait, did we, did we hit him? <laughs> I think, yeah, we got him. I see the pink little dot. Sammy just said, see the results of my training. Yeah. Let's do this, Sammy, for the betterment of our village. Or yeah. the village that we're staying Whoa, at at the moment. Sammy shows no fear. He's running right into battle. Oops. Amazing. That was, that was bad. Ah. I'm just sucking so bad right now. Oops. So what I tried to do just now was tag him with my insect. That way the kinsect can attack it. While I'm attacking oh, it. Oh, okay. So you tagged it with paint, and then after that, you tagged it with your insect. Yeah, I'm leaving my insect. Oh. And it will keep your insect. You told me your insect keeps flying at it, and as long as it's got that like uh, mm, okay. pheromone, or I don't see how it goes right toward it, and yeah. it's gonna keep collecting stuff from it. Like bees to honey. Yeah. Basically, yeah, it's pollinating the enemy, and this weakens the monster sometimes. Ow. Yeah, he's. It's like. Wow. 
Yeah, you put a little scent for your bug to go find yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not it. doing the well right now. Okay, so we're gonna use our first aid. So you have two helpers, your bug and your cat. Yeah, although I, I have multiple cats with me usually. Well, hopefully you'll become a cat person. I have uh, the cats that you guys are gonna meet uh, once we're finally ready to showcase the um, switch axe is Rocky and Tink. Not oh, necessarily okay, cool. in that order, but those are my cats. Awesome. Meow. Yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing after Monster Hunter people retire, they probably end up as cat ladies or cat people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have a little... If they have all these cats and they have nothing to do anymore. So I wasn't even paying in. attention to what the subquest is. I'm just hitting them. Oh, okay. All so right. what I love about the Insect Glaive, though, especially for beginners, oh, man. is the reach of it. It's a spear. So I have like a, a vaulting thing I can do. I get up close and I get some serious combos and I can also just like poke him from far away. Yeah, I think you're doing great. I I like how it swings around. Like you can swing it all around like you're mm -hmm. like it's a bow staff or something. It's really cool. Wow, he's running away from us already. She's scared. He's no match for Sir Nightwing. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. And his squire, Sammy the Cat. Whoa! Come on! <laughs> See the results of my ferocious training! Meow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, technically, <laughs> yeah, this is the second file, though, because, like, remember I messed up the name? Like, it's with the lowercase k? That was the one that we did on the 90 minute live stream. Yeah. So I just basically kept building from that, and then I was like, you know what? I think the footage is terrible, so oh, we're just yeah. gonna make a new character, and I'm actually gonna know what I'm doing. So, yeah, that's but I, right. I didn't have the heart to delete him because he's like a, you know, he's a living, breathing video game character. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> just like Captain N. Wait, wait, no, Captain N was actually a person. I think before. Captain N was somebody who was sucked into the video game yeah. world and became a video game person. Yep. Although, was he still human or was he pixels? I, I never really know if he was still know. a living, breathing human because he's been vaporized a couple times. Um, well, you'd have to think about that with, tr like, the movie Tron because they actually were able to come out of the computer later and become a, be a human again. Right. So it's he's like trying to restore his health right now. So we're going to oh, throw our bug friend and interrupt his meal. Yeah, the, I think they do a great job of making these dinosaurs look really cool with lots of different colors and things. But at the same time, their faces look angry, so you know they're not cute enough to, to let live. <laughs> like, you want to destroy them because they're not that cute. They're they're cool looking, but they're not adorable. <laughs> so it's okay to take them down. But do you see what I said about this thing looking like a giant chicken? Yeah, kind of. it does. Like it, does it, it doesn't bird really. It looks more bird-like than it does reptile. Yeah. Like even its claws kind of look like an eagle's claws or something like that. That's the perfect way to mount it, though. That's why I love the insect glaive is that pole vault, and then you can get some serious hits in and a successful mount. Whoa, that there we amazing. go. Now mounts knock. If you do it successfully, you knock down the monster and then you just hack at it. That's pretty much it. Wow. So if you do a successful mount, it really helps out. But a if your friend mounts the dinosaur, don't attack the dinosaur until after the guy oh, has been successful with the mount. Oh, because you'll be mount. hitting your friend? No, you'll knock the rider off. Oh, okay. All right. So, you know, if a friend yeah. mounts, let them mount. Let them do their thing until... Yeah, and usually the dinosaur will come down then when they're mounting it. Well, what do we got here? Sometimes... What do we got here? Oh, come on, dude. Aw, oh, man. I want to get whatever that is. Just yeah, stop. Yeah, it looks like he has a combination of scales and feathers, kind of. Yeah. It's kind of interesting, because he's got spikes on the back of his tail. So we damaged something. I think that's a tear, or that we might have wounded his head, which is a subquest and other, like, missions, because usually what they do in Monster Hunter, they want you to fight the monster several times. Yeah. And so they'll appear on gathering missions now, or other things. So... Come on, run away so I can pick that up. Run away. I, there I he goes. I have a question, though. Do they ever bring... Hey, this is a really new question. I should know it, but I don't. Do they bring monsters from past games back? Like yes. the exact same monster? Oh, okay. All yep, right. the frog monster from Monster Hunter 4 is in this. Oh. Uh, the sand dragons are back. Um, and some other monsters. All right, cool. I believe the bear is back, too. I don't know about the giant spider yet. Oh, no, where's the... 
Oh, I waited too long. Dang it. Oh, he dropped stuff? No. Yeah, he dropped a tear. I don't see oh, it. Oh, man. I don't. You don't see anything sparkling on the map, do no. you? Mm, well, no. hopefully the cat picked it up because we, we botched. Maybe Sammy did pick it up. That's possible. Talk on it. So, yeah, you have to get it before it disappears. Well, I mean, sometimes you don't get a choice because the monster's still in the area. If a monster is in a frenzy and you get hit, I mean, you're going to lose. And our health was pretty low yeah. anyway, so I took a gamble trying to get that anyway. But, whatever. He's going to try to go eat something to restore his health, so we can't let him... Maybe you can still get something off of him. Yeah, Maybe well, not. I mean, you can get lots of stuff off him, but I'm, yeah, I'm just kind yeah. of... But yeah, the reason why they have you fight the monster so much and they give you different subquests is so you, you can go and complete the armor. So, yeah, getting the tier would probably have been a subquest or something. Maybe. Although, in order to finish this armor, I'm telling you guys right now, you need something called a shiny bug. Now, the shiny bug can be found in the dunes, like in some areas, usually the caves, and it can also be found in the mountain or the valley, I believe it's called. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. It's it's one of those. It's either the mountain peak or it's verdant valley or whatever it's called, verdant. And the shiny bug is important for certain armor upgrades later on anyway. So you want to stock up as many of those and carpenter bugs as you can. So just just remember that if you're out searching and you're you're like, oh man, I'm doing gathering stuff. It's like, well, you can't complete your armor stuff without certain things. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Hi, I woke him from his nap, and he's not happy. <laughs> he's really angry. But usually when they lie down like that, that means they're pretty much dead. So we're going to use our insect to kind of uh, damage him a little bit from a safe distance, because he's in a frenzy mode. Oh, yeah. Mode. Okay. All right, cool. So you make your insect take the hit. Yes. A little bit. There we go. Your insect is tough. And we're going to grab this this time. This is probably a tear. He's like... Yep. The monster was like, man, I was up all night live streaming. I'm <laughs> <really> tired. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops! You're like, I don't care about your problems. You're going down. Oh, no. <gasps> no, watch out! Oh, I know, God. I know, I know. See, he, see how he's in a frenzy mode? That means he's almost yeah. dead. But he's also really angry, so... So he's giving it his all to the... Oh, ah, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh he's Wait, in the... So now he can recover his health, or... Oh, man. Yeah, now I gotta run all the way back there. Murder, murder! Wait, he's still... Oh, he still has paint on him. <sighs> yes, he still has the paint on him. Dang it! I'm so... Oh, this is why... I feel bad. If I wasn't talking, that wouldn't have happened. But whatever. Yeah, the it's... joys of Let's Plays. Yeah, when you're when you're explaining stuff and then you're yeah, then your mind is like divided in two places. That's how I I should have that was my I got cocky. I should have like healed myself before I started fighting him. That was mm. stupid. Yeah, well I can go dark. I'll just watch you play. No, no, that's fine. He's almost okay. dead. I'm not worried about it. He's going to be right. hanging out in area 5. We're almost there. Oh, it would be nice if your cat could sit there and finish him off for you. Oh, the cat does stay there until you completely uh -huh. teleport back, so oh, it keeps okay. attacking. All right, that's cool. But he's already back with us. As soon as, like, you arrive on the cart and they roll you off, within about five seconds, your cat teleports right back with you. Actually, it's yeah. probably two seconds. But until then, he stays over there and he keeps attacking and doing yeah. his job. Yeah, I, I mean, I know that you're just like, um, you know, you enjoy the game Monster Hunter, you haven't, like, played all of the games, but I'm, I am learning a lot from you. I've I, played, I like I've played you, Try, right? Monster Hunter 3, Monster, or Try is 3, I've played Ultimate mm -hmm. 3, I've played 4, and uh, I've been playing this a lot, as you can, you know, as you know, <laughs> whenever uh, we're watching yeah, a movie I, or something, I know. I'm playing Monster Hunter. I know, Hunter. you've been, I've heard nothing but the Monster Hunter music for weeks, I think. Yep. Well, I mean, with the other save file, what I did is I just spent time on the online aspect, and I'm doing, like, a Kirito thing. But oh, it, yeah. the only problem with online is, I'm going to tell you this right now, since the monsters are longer, um, it takes me the entire quest time to beat, like, one monster. Like, yeah. where, where I was at. Come on, dude, you're almost dead. It's not feeding time, it's time to die. 
So each time we throw the insect at the monster, we're taking about, mm, I want to say 60 hits away from him, and also stealing his essence, that's going to make me stronger. Okay, At least that's, cool. that's the plan. Indeed. I'm playing it safe because I don't want to get killed again. Uh, because Still. we've already had a reward diminished by 600. Aw, so. man. That's not too cool. That's all right. This is for educational purposes, so it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> so I'm educated. So you're educating us what not to do then. <laughs> don't yeah, die. There you go. Don't die. During, this is what there we doing. go. See? That's... And Sammy's Yay. angry. Sam, Sammy has the angry face. He's like, that was my kill. So Luke was illustrating that if you die while fighting a monster, then you get your reward <laughs> decreased. Also, to uh, make sure that you get the things he drops, or you won't get them and they'll disappear. Cool. So we learned a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever. You, gaming. I don't care. I still beat it. Hey, come on. I've improved a lot since the previous Monster Hunter games. I, I yeah, kind of feel bad for, for you, YouTubers that are going to go into the series blind. You improve every every game that you play. It's like one of those games where you... I'm like. the living, breathing Captain N. <laughs> yeah. I even had a mullet for a while, so... Yeah, totally. Except he didn't have a mullet. He had, like, your typical... Uh, wavy hair, I don't know. No, it wasn't really wavy. It was more like the parted look, you know? Typical kind of, like, just gentleman's cut. Yep. I wanted to do a cool gesture, but it didn't happen. I will say, I do like your haircut on your avatar over there. That is kind of like my favorite haircut on you. I wish I could have that haircut in real life. I try to duplicate that, but... I think... No, I think you have that haircut right now, kind of. Kind of. More or less. Sort of. Yeah, but that one... I know, hair always looks cooler in anime, though. So yeah, the great joggy stuff... Or, or in animation. <laughs> great joggy. Great Macau stuff is needed to uh, upgrade your character and things like that to make... You can make weapons uh, off the hide and stuff like that. And you can also... Um, that's food. The chef guy. Alright, uh, he's cool. learned... Sammy can actually heal us now using something called the health horn. Nice. That's good. So they do, they do learn abilities where they can actually help, but I prefer the uh, healing characters that they just focus on that. Yeah. Because they're always paying attention to you. Welcome back, Hunter. I'm relieved to see you're safe and sound and not dead. Magnificent work hunting the great Macau. Now the survey team may continue their work unobstructed thanks to you. You've proven yourself worthy of being called a Academy Hunter. I'm sure the chief researcher agrees. Great work, deputy. You certainly went out and proved brains over brawn. By the way, I just mm -hmm. finished all of your paperwork. You're officially my new assistant. Congratulations. What? what? Wait, yes. we didn't just sign up for that job. We can worry about the hand increase for the paperwork later. Welcome aboard, deputy. Welcome aboard. <laughs> I'm sure he only misspoke in calling you his assistant. At any rate, your work at the Academy Hunter will be vital. You can now do two star quests. Yay! Uh, I believe the Bernagel can give you more yeah. information. I've also made preparations to uh, have you conduct survey work in other villages. Oh, cool! What? Sweet! Wait, is that a good thing? Yep, or? we're gonna go to the different villages now. Perhaps you've heard of them? Anyway, each of the chiefs will be expecting you. <laughs> he seems like a very high, <laughs> you know, while the other guy's like very laid back. Those yeah. other villages are great need of your help. Luckily, we've already gotten permission for you to use the airship. <gasps> Woo! The airship will fly you around to other villages. See the flight cat attendant for more information. Oh my gosh. I also have something for you, a charm. They're usually found from mining and as quest rewards. Sweet. Cool. Once its abilities have been appraised, it can be equipped as a talisman. Oh yes, that's right. That's right. I forgot. Even I didn't do that with my other file. <laughs> Consider it a small token of my appreciation. You got a talisman. Ooh. Oh, so you didn't do the... Mm -mm. Oh. I forgot about that. Hey, I'm not going to remember. There's so many aspects to Monster Hunter, but, you know. Oh, yeah. We're catching up to my other save file, though. I'm so. excited about it. And we get to fly in an airship, so. Yeah, it's... Mm, you'll see. <laughs> anyway, guys okay. and gals, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me if this guide has been helpful for you starting out in Monster Hunter Generations. And also, <laughs> I'm so upset that I died once. Sadness. But I still stuck it out and took the big guy down. 
Yeah! But anyway, in the comment section below, tell me your favorite part of this series thus far, and we will reconvene tomorrow, Monster Hunter friends and peeps. Hey, God bless and happy gaming. Good night! See ya! I'm tuckered out. Yeah? <laughs>